Hi guys, today I will give you a review of the uh, Audi Vero receiver Onkyo TX SR 508. See it there? And it's an Audi Vero receiver with uh, 8 HDMI and a lot of features. And uh, now we're gonna show these features for you, a couple of them at least. So we start. As I said before, I can show you back here on the receiver. Let's see here. Be careful. Here we got the back side of the receiver. As you see here, we got four HMI, one, two, three, four. I want to HDMI out. That receives the high definition picture and high definition audio and digital audio. And here we got the shells. You got seven shells. It's two surround, two surround back, and two fronts, and one center. And we got the subwoofer here. It's one back here. And I. It's also got a, a special feature. From this model, it's called Sound 2. Sound 2. It's got it's this here, and that one gives you a, a future that you can have music in another room at the same time as here, or or only the other room you can choose yourself. Here we got a analog video and audio. Yeah, what I'm gonna show you now is uh, I will show how to. Uh, Focus. How to enter the uh, ah, Windows 8 computer through the uh, receiver and up on my television. And I will make the sound stay in the receiver and the video to go through through the television. And it's not so advanced, but I will show you anyway. Yeah, let's begin. So, what I've done now is uh, I have one uh, HDMI here, number one. That one I have uh, taken out here. So here's the HMA1. And I'm naming it, I can show you here on the receiver. I'm naming it, uh, I connected it to the uh, game. That one there, the game one. And I will show you soon. I just connect the HMI on the computer. Here, connect it to the computer. So there we go. And I have to turn on the TV and make it HDMI one. There we go, the HDMI one. Can I connect it? The white one to the television. It's HDMI one. So. And what I gotta do now is I will turn on my receiver. It's this one here. And it turns on. And I make it game. And it says it's PC. Yes, of course. So there we go. And as you see, a picture appears on the television and on the computer. And what the sounds. The sound uh, stays in the receiver, and I will check if it really does. As you see now, I have entered all channel station, and it makes the sound go to every uh, speaker in the room. I got to see one there, it's the left, the center is here, and the right is over here. Surround right is here, and behind my sofa I got two surround backs, and one left surround. And it makes the sound go to every single speaker, including my subwoofer over here. We got my subwoofer right, I think. So I can test check it if it really works with this sound.
this right here. It is the this. I can change options. The pair is here. Set my pass, my pace. So go for. This is supports to have the audio selection to HDMI and not like optical or analog. It got to be HDMI. Syncing the video. So. And now we got sound for every speaker. It works. What can be a problem with your computer if you got as I do? I got NVIDIA. Uh, sometimes a problem appears on my computer. It's something times a problem with NVIDIA control panel. But sometimes it works out by itself. But sometimes I have to update my NVIDIA driver for my uh, graphic card. Yeah. What I also can do is yeah, make like this. Windows bottom and P. Let's make that. Windows bottom, P. And then you can extend the desktop for further desktop like this. And then you can draw like a like this window here. You can draw it. Make it like this. So you can draw it up all the way to the left and then up there. And it appears on my TV. Like this. So now we got to check the uh, digital audio. The receiver says it can extend uh, to seven seven channels by a 5.1 channel, like a SPDF. And I show this now. So now we show you here. I will show you how to get the uh, digital audio. Maybe a Dolby or DTS 5.1 from a from a movie file on your on your computer. The first thing you got to do is make sure you got the a program. It's called AC3 AC3 filter. You download this and then you can uh, you can make your computer uh, it. It makes you uh, turn the uh, digital audio to your audio receiver and get digital audio. What you have to do is press this button, use SPDF, and then enter SPDF, and then use SPDF. This have to be on there. This one have to be like this, and so is this one have to be like this. So and apply. So. Now you're able. Now you're able to uh, turn digital audio. On your receiver, and I will open a movie file. And I will try with the Star Wars in Good quality. Star Wars. I take maybe the third, second one. So, to get your digital audio, you see you don't have digital audio yet. You have to. Right click and enter audio. And that one and take A552 or S PDF. Press the bottom. And then you see it appears 
Dolby DX. It's Dolby Digital. Five point one. Dolby D. It's Dolby Digital five point one, and it's the best audio you can get. And it makes you have the true HD audio with true surround sound from Dolby. I'm concerned for my Padua. He is not ready to be given this assignment on his own yet. The council is confident in its decision. So, and this uh, receiver, I think it's the best one I ever had. I think my, this is the best one I ever heard. It got, yeah, Blu-ray, DVD, cable satellite, and it makes you yeah, be able to have the best audio. Yeah. Cheers, guys.